Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to talk about the state of Android 14 from Google and where we currently are sitting at because it is quite unusual. Now, normally by now, Android 14, the official stable regular launch for the mass population would have been launched during last month in August. Now, I believe the reason why we did not hit that timeline or deadline is because there's three form factors that was a part of the Android 14 beta program rather than just one. Normally, Google is used to testing the regular candy bar shaped pixel devices. And then they did now add in two additionals, which is the pixel fold and the pixel tablet. So rather than just having one different type of version of Android 14, they had three, a tablet, a folding and the regular smartphone. So that is why it'll officially launch during the month of October, which is next month, my guess in about two weeks. Now, here's the thing that's unusual. Now, because Android 14 would have already been launched, everybody would already have it. Now we actually have the newer one. This is a beta program again, basically a beta program being launched during the time of another beta program. This is Android 14 quarterly platform release. So this is the QPR. This is the beta program that will sit on this phone for about three months because this is a quarterly launch of all of the Pixel feature drops. So this is where you're able to play with the brand new features that will be launching during the month of December. So what I'm gonna show you here is just kind of how big these updates are and what you can do or you shouldn't do if you're already part of the beta program now and if you wanna get this newer one or if you wanna opt out, wait for the full official launch of Android 14 before you actually update your phone again. So let me show you what this kind of looks like and we'll take a look at what Android 14, the QPR actually gives you right now. Now I have two phones sitting in front of me, the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel 6a. Now the Pixel 7 Pro over here is already a part of Android 14 beta program, which is why the update size is so small. And there's nothing I had to do. I just went inside of updates, it was sitting there and I was able to go directly into it. Now there is some important information that you would wanna know if you would wanna get this update while you're still on beta and we'll hit that up in here in just one second. The other thing over here is the Pixel 6a, which was on Android 13, not a part of any beta. And that is why this update size is 2.25 gigs. You're going from Android 13 to Android 14. You're getting some of the newer features. That was a part of this one a little bit, but you're mainly kind of getting ready for all of the feature drops that they're going to add into this update with over the air updates. Now, here's the thing that's important. If you're already a part of Android 14, the beta program that's currently launched, you can opt out of the beta program before applying this update without wiping your device. If you choose to opt out after installing this update or any future beta updates, your device will get wiped per usual program guidelines, which means if you're gonna go directly into this beta that they're talking about, the QPR, and when you go inside of this beta, if you were to opt out, your phone will be wiped. So if you want to go back into basically Android 14, the official launch of it when it comes out in two weeks, you can actually opt out of it now before you apply this update, and then you do not do any updates. If you update immediately after opting out, you're gonna go back to Android 13 and you're gonna basically lose everything. So if you opt out now, don't update your phone until Android 14 comes and then install that Android 14 and you won't have any wipage of your phone. And before we take a look at what to expect with the Android 14 QPR update, let's first take a look at the Pixel 7 Pro, just in case if you are a part of Android 14 beta program currently, and maybe you'd like to opt out. When you go inside of the feedback application, which was put on your phone the moment you joined the beta program, on the top left-hand side, you wanna go inside of your release notes, and underneath the release notes, this is just letting you know the latest update that you can actually hop into. But as you scroll on down underneath the list of phones, click on the very first link right there. And then in the very next screen, you can see the list one more time. And this is where you can enroll in Android 14 beta for Pixel. This just takes you over into the Android beta program main website. This is where you're able to opt in or opt out. So if you're currently on Android 14 and you would rather just have the regular stock stable official launch of Android 14, you can actually opt out now and then just sit on your phone. Don't do any updates, don't, don't do anything, especially don't update it immediately because you'll go back to Android 13 and lose everything. 
Just keep it on Android 14 on this beta program here that you're a part of and wait until the official launch of Android 14 comes out in just about two weeks. So just wait until sometime early October, mid-October, then you do that update to your phone so then you're still a part of Android 14 and you don't lose anything. Now with that out of the way, this right here was just a screenshot of when I installed and updated and I went into that QPR update. Again, this is just the beta one version of the QPR. This right here is just getting you ready for all of those brand new feature drops that will be dropping during the month of December. Now, what you're able to do is when you go inside of this little feedback screen here, this is where you can take a look on the very top left-hand side. You go to release notes, and then this is where you can read everything that's going on with this update. It gives you that September 1st security patch. It was released today on September 20th. And if you're curious on what the QPR really is, it's these releases happen on a quarterly cadence through quarterly platform releases, which is basically delivered to any other you know, Android phone with Android 14 and also the Google Pixel device is a part of feature drops. So feature drops is some big changes, some big user changes with the U with the UI, brand new features. It's a lot of really cool things you can take a look at. Now, when it comes down to the QPR1 beta one update, uh, you cannot do it with the Pixel 4a or the Pixel 5 but you can do it with the Pixel 5a, 6, 6 Pro, 6a, the 7, 7 Pro, the 7a, the Fold, and the tablet. Now going through here, you can read about some things that are, you know, some of the top resolved issues. And this is some of the issues coming from Android 14 that moved over to this one. So they talk about a few bugs that have fit, you know, been fixed. There are a few things that I do want to share with you. And I can place both of these links below the video inside the description, one coming from Android police and one coming from nine to five Google. Now I'm not going you know, hardly through this phone here just because there is no brand new features yet. Yes, I am on an Android 14. I do have a September 1st security patch, but there's no new features as we're just basically getting ready for everything to be dropped into this update here or the beta program. And here it's able to state that the beta program for Android 14, uh, the QPR one is now available with the official debut expected to be in December as the Pixel feature drop. Also, Google's next major OS upgrade, Android 14, will be delayed until October, despite an users initial expecting it to be in August, as we've covered from before. And here it is again, the Pixel 4a and the Pixel 5 is not included in the Android 14 beta downloads, but they will still receive updates until November and October, respectfully. So this is just kind of giving a little bit of feedback of kind of some of the things that we've already talked about, opting in, opting out, some of the things to also test. Here's some of the top resolved issues. There's also a brand new thing that you can do, which is a for a, a large screen user per app override. And when you take a look at the other article that I have saved uh, inside, or this one over here for nine to five Google, as you scroll on down, they actually did kind of break it out and, and gave you a little bit more details on it. So in Android 14 QPR one, it introduces a new setting menu that enables users to change the aspect ratio of apps. The, men the menu is implemented on select large screen devices, such as the Pixel tablet and the Pixel Fold. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I wanted to cover and let you guys know exactly where the state is for Android 14. It's not officially launched yet. It'll come out in a couple weeks during the month of October. But here we are with the QPR1 beta 1 already out. And there's not too much I can really other show you other than here we are with my Android version. I am sitting on Android 14 with September 1st security patch, you know, after updating. So that's pretty much all the details I want to give you, especially if you are already a part of the beta program for Android 14. That gives you the details if you want to opt in, opt out. Again, if you do opt out, you do want to make sure you wait for Android 14 official launch and you want to update to that update not the one that would currently be sitting on your phone almost immediately after you opt out within the first few minutes. If you do hop over into this QPR right here um, or this, this quarterly update uh, beta program, you won't lose anything. You're just now a part of another beta program coming from another beta. It just depends if you want to be a part of beta and take a look at the brand new features that would be dropped in December, or do you just want to opt out, wait for the update of Android 14 officially stable launch just to have the normal version of Android 14. But hopefully you guys appreciated this journey of Android 14 and where we are at currently. If you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,